let's move off. Let's jump into UFC 260. Now, we ain't going to spend a long time on this because I don't know a ton about these guys. However, we're going to give out some picks and whatnot. We'll talk about what's going on uh, because this is a, a pretty big pay-per-view. Uh, the main fight is... Are you getting this fight? I'm debating it. I am debating it. I I really want to, but I'm I know going. I'm, I'm going to have basketball on one of the other screens. Am I going to have basketball on my main screen? And do I want to pay $75 to watch one fight that could be over in just a few seconds? I'll go and have these with you. But I don't know how your your other people that live in your house care about that, though. I think, now, I think we could probably make that happen. If I had multiple screens, I'd say you come over here. And I've, I've got the screen. You see my screen. You've got you the multiple screen situation. I don't have that's, that. I've, uh, got, I've got one big ass screen. That's that's interesting. That's uh, you know what? We'll we'll I will discuss that. I'll figure that out. So okay. I think that could be possible. And so, okay. um, so UFC 260 on Saturday night. We are only going to talk about the three main fights. That's fine. Sugar that's Sean O'Malley about. is a uh, a minus three ten favorite over Thomas Almeida. And the, with the way that O'Malley was knocked out, not that long ago, that was a, we watched I, that fight. Yeah, I I don't think that it is even a question. No, I, I don't I think, think there's any way he's losing two in a row. Yeah, I think O'Malley handles this one, and I think he handles it easily. Um, the under one and a half is plus one ten, and I think I might take that. And like it's, it's, yeah, I would probably take that over laying the two twenty, uh, three twenty is what I saw. Yeah, it, I've, I'm seeing three ten on this other book. Um, mm-hmm. You know, there there are other props and whatnot. Like, uh, let's see, what's the knockout prop? I'm sure that's not going to be much different than three twenty. Uh, O'Malley by KO, uh, TKO or disqualification is plus one thirty five. Holy cow! That's the only way he wins. I think. I'm about to say, do they think he's going to submit this guy? I doubt it because... They think it's going like, to go to the decision? O'Malley by submission is 700. Like, plus 700. Um, I mean, so I think that would it's be the way to go. 310 for him to win anyway. And then plus 135 for him to... <laughs> plus 135 for him to knock him out, which means they think it's going to a decision. Uh, Well, a, a draw here would be... Well, O'Malley by decision is... Uh, let's see. Uh, plus two fifty. That can't. He can't be plus. He shouldn't be plus anything for winning if he's minus three twenty to win. He's minus three ten to win. He is plus one uh, twenty five. Uh, d- 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 one thirty five. Sorry, by KO, TKO, or disqualification by submission plus seven hundred. Um, yeah, I, you know. That makes no sense at all. That I mean, make, I, the math on that makes doesn't no make sense. any sense. Yeah. Well, I, no, that's where you pound the you pound the plus one thirty five. Yes. Just pound the shit out of it. Which uh, which I just did. I wouldn't even care about the over. I, I wouldn't even care about the over under anymore. I don't care if he does it. Fat. He's just not. We're just not going to a decision. I don't think. I no. I, I seriously doubt that. I mean, there's a reason why the over under as far as rounds is is one and a half. Yeah. You know. Like at no, under, but 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 if I can get plus odds on him knocking his ass out in the second or the third round, I'm I'm fine with that. And so under one and a half is plus one ten. To go over one and a half rounds is minus one forty. So they think it'll go at least into the second round. Um, yeah, that. But I'm not I, worried about that. I but either. I get plus one thirty five to knock him out. That's the only way he's winning. Yeah, I agree. That's I insane. Agree. Unless unless there's something screwy and we don't know it, we'll find out Saturday. We will certainly find out Saturday. We will certainly find out. Uh, moving on, the the next one, Tyron Woodley against uh, Vicente Luque. And Luque is a minus 230 favorite. And this dude has been, uh, I, I want to say, on fire. Uh, in 2020, he had two wins, and they were both KOs, uh, doctor yep. stoppage, and one by knee and punch. He knocked out Nico Price. He knocked out Randy Brown, and they were... Uh, I mean, the, the one against Randy Brown was a performance of the night. He got a big-time bonus. Like, it's it's awesome. Uh, he did lose to uh, Stephen Thompson, you know, Wonder Boy, uh, but that was back in November 2019. Before that, uh, he had won, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's won eight of his last nine fights. He's he's moving on up, man. Tyron Woodley, 
Uh, not great. Not great as of late. Uh, for whatever reason, like, Woodley has, has kind of lost it. And, I mean, there's a reason why uh, Woodley is a plus 180 underdog here. I, I don't know what's happened to him. I mean, he, I, I, know, I know that he's gotten old. You know, he's, uh, he's 38 years old. Yeah, I was about to say, but, you, know, you got almost a decade difference in age. Yeah, I mean, it, Woodley has lost three straight, uh, but he lost to Kamara Usman, Gilbert Burns, and Colby Covington. So, and all of them, he, uh, let's see, he lost da, 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 two of them by decision, and against Covington, uh, he lost uh, via TKO because of a rib injury. Yeah. And that was back in September. Like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Luke A. Yeah, I don't, I don't like laying points against a striker. I think you can, you know, I think there's a world where Woodley will catch you, and, and I saw it at plus 205, but I, I would either, you, you got to take Luke or, or or not. I mean, you got a decade of age difference. Luke by decision, is plus 150. By KO, he is plus 275. Okay, that's and, how you can get some odds. Yeah, Woodley by decision is plus 330. Woodley by KO is plus five fifty. I about to say, I bet that's huge. Yeah, it's it's on up there. So, I'm I'm going to take Luke by by KO and and go with the plus two seventy five, um, because I, I just I think that Woodley has lost it. Like I know he wants to get it back and whatnot, but I don't think this no, is the I'll dude to get this, it back. There's against. a world where if you get plus two fifty and then plus five hundred, and you think it's going to end in a KO, I, you know. You kind of hedge, and you, you kind of bet them. You kind of bet them both because I don't think we're going to a decision. I don't think so either. I don't think, I think so either. I think I think Woodley's only chance of winning is to knock him out. Yeah, which is why you know, which is why I don't think we're going to a decision because at some point in time, when you get desperate, try to start knocking the guy out. You either knock him out or he knocks you out. Yes, because yes. you open yourself up. I, I, you know, the the play would be the fight ended in a knockout, which I don't know what the odds would be on that instead of betting both of them. Uh, but I'm sure it's positive odds. Um, I don't see... I don't see an odd for or, that. Or you just bet both of them... Both of by them by KO. And, and know, know that you're getting positive odds no matter what. Yeah, that would that would kind of make sense. That would kind of make sense. Um, Last fight of the night. This is the big one. Stipe Miokic against Francis Ngannou. Uh, these are two big old boys. I mean, they are massive guys. Um, Stipe, minus 105. Francis Ngannou is minus 125 uh, as got, of right now. I Stipe at plus 118 before I, we start to show it. Bet online. That's I got him earlier today at plus 110, yeah. and I think a lot of people realized, oh, wait a minute, Stipe is an underdog here. Yeah, like, Stipe, Stipe yeah. is catching positive odds. He's the champ. I think he's the best fighter in the world. I'm a little biased. I do not believe that that this one will go to a decision. I don't believe no. either guy will be submitted in no. this. This is a knockout fight. That's uh, right. I would like to see what Stipe's knockout po- uh, odds are. Plus 200. Okay, so I'll take that. Plus 200, and Nganu is minus 120 yeah. to win by knockout. So everybody thinks that Ngannou is going to win this fight. That tells you. That tells you. Yeah, Vegas thinks that Ngannou is going to win it. Well, yes and no. Uh, they just Ngannou is a knockout artist, right? Like he he has become this massive. I mean, he's he's won just however many fights in a row in the first round. Uh, four the last four fights that he's won, he's knocked out his opponent in the first round. Uh, one in forty five seconds. One in twenty six seconds. One in twenty seconds, one in one minute and eleven seconds. That was Junior Dos Santos, uh, Rosenstruck. He knocked out Kane Velasquez. He knocked out Blades Curtis Blades. He knocked out. Um, however, back in twenty eighteen, he had a two fight losing streak where he got knocked out. Uh, or no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Both of these went to decision. Um, Stipe actually went to decision with him, and yeah. I think Stipe is going to knock him out this time. I, I don't. I, I don't I told think he can you I'm hang. Biased, though. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, you're a little biased, but I, I just think Stipe is the better overall fighter, man. I think he's like, the best fighter in the world. In the world. In the world. Okay, okay, I can, I might could gel with that. 
I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to rank guys outside of your weight class. But if you tell me one of those little guys fight these heavyweights, I think these heavyweights beat the shit out of them. Well, so. that's that's a very, that's a valid point. So if you're the that's best a- heavyweight in the world, you're, <laughs> you're you're usually oftentimes the best fighter in the world. That's a, that's a very valid point. Uh, I am I'm gonna roll Steep A plus two hundred for the knockout. Yeah, I can't for the knockout. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I couldn't believe when I saw he was positive. I kind of was expecting minus one ten both ways. Because I just thought the books would have this as an even fight. Nah, it, it, with Ngannou's four straight first round knockouts, like everybody thinks he's on yeah, a warpath. Yeah, but ain't none of those dudes steep, eh? No, but they, I mean, it's still good dudes. Oh, all like, right. All right. That's fine. I mean, it's a, he He has fought the best of the best. And that, I mean, there's a reason why he, he fought the best of the best. He, he did. And that guy beat him. He so. has, well, that's true. That was back in uh, January of 2018. Uh, yeah, but so. he, he has not fought since May 9th of 2020. Because there was nobody else in the heavyweight division for him. I was about to say, there's just no, he, he's already ran through everybody. Yeah. Velasquez, Blades, Santos, and Rosenstruck. So, yeah. Um, I mean, he, he's he been killing people. Just killing them. I, uh, I understand. But that. I, I don't he, think he's going to do he's that. He's a bad man. I'm, listen, I'm, I wouldn't wouldn't say a negative word about it to his face, okay? But if Stipe was there, I'd talk all the shit I want. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. We have gone long. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, winningcureseverything.com is the website. SBRpicks.com slash NCAAF is our college football gambling site. So go and check that bad boy out. Make sure you are subscribed everywhere you need to be subscribed. All that good stuff. Chris, is there anything else we need to hit on? No, brother. Let's get out of here. I am ready for some fights, and I am ready for some college basketball. Let's get this sweet, uh, sweet, 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 sweet 16 action rolling. You guys have been great. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Hopefully all of your bets cash this weekend. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.